Hi everyone, I am Dr. Siddhi Goyal, Consultant Ophthalmology at Asian Institute of Medical Sciences, Faridabad. So it is the month of May and June and the temperatures are soaring and it is extreme heat. So just like we need to protect our skin and we all use sunblock, the eyes which is also a very gentle and delicate structure needs protection from the sun. There are many common problems that are aggravated in the summer months. So let us com uh, discuss all these problems and how we can protect ourselves from the sun and also protect our eyes. So firstly, let's discuss the common problems that are aggravated. Firstly, conjunctivitis, which is commonly called as pink eye or red eye. Patients present with uh, congestion, redness, watering and discharge from the eyes. This problem is commonly seen in summer months and can affect both males and females. In this condition, extreme uh, heat in increases the uh, symptoms and we need to take care of the eyes and our personal hygiene significantly. The other thing which is commonly seen in summer months is sty, which is a small swelling on the eyelids due to bacterial infection, most commonly seen in children but can also affect the adults and it presents as a painful swelling with redness as well as it may present with some discharge. Apart from that, dry eye is on the rise in the summer months uh, with the use of air conditioners and ceiling fans. The direct air that enters the eye leads to evaporative dry eye. The tear film dries out and patients feel grittiness and foreign body sensation in the eyes which needs to be taken care of. Apart from that, allergic eye diseases which present with itching, redness, watery eyes are also increased in summer months. Apart from all these conditions, we need to know that the long-term exposure to sunlight can also damage the eyes. Namely, firstly, there is increased prevalence of cataract in patients who have more outdoor activities and sun exposure. Also macular degeneration, also known as age-related macular degeneration, is also directly linked to UV exposure. Apart from that, there can be growth on the cornea or the conjunctiva called as pingicula, which is also seen in outdoor workers and grave conditions like eyelid tumors like squamous cell carcinoma and basal cell carcinoma or also have risk factors of UV exposure. Now let's discuss how to protect your eyes in these summer months. So first and foremost is hydration. Hydration is key. Drink lots and lots of water, fresh juices, coconut water which will help you stay hydrated and keep your eyes moist. Apart from that, when you're stepping out, make sure to use sunglasses with 100% UV protection. For elderly and children, try to use hats. Broad brimmed hats will be very good as they protect the eyes from the sunlight. Swimming also is on an increase in the summer months, but make sure when you're going for swimming, you need to wear goggles, which seal your eyes and protect them from the chlorinated water. Here it is very important that patients who are contact lens users, when they're going for swimming, do not use the contact lens and they must be removed prior to swimming. Apart from that, try to avoid direct exposure to air from the air conditioners reaching the eyes. Do not share your cosmetics. Please maintain proper hand hygiene, especially for cases of conjunctivitis. And definitely eye rest is very important. A good sleep of 7 to 8 hours will always help the eyes. In case of any irritation, do not rub your eyes. If there is any redness or dryness that you feel, you may try to use over-the-counter lubricants like carboxymethyl cellulose or sodium hyaluronate but do not rub your eyes in either case. In case of any severe problems, please contact your eye care professional. They will help you guide better and beat the heat. Thank you.